Coming to you from the Strack and Van Til Studios. This is your 219 News Now. Strack and Van Til, making customers' lives easier for 93 years. Hi, I'm Sonny Santana, and this is your 219 News Now. Police are investigating the source of a threatening email sent to the superintendent of the Hanover Schools. Cedar Lake Police Chief William Fisher said that students were not sent home or placed on lockdown as a result of the threat. Fisher said police are working with local and federal officials to identify the source of the threat and that no additional information will be released until after further investigation. Hard Rock Casino in Gary continues to top state casino revenue as other casinos in Lake and LaPorte counties see earnings dip. The Indiana Gaming Commission released data showing that Hard Rock in April again bested 11 other Indiana casinos in revenues for a 19th consecutive month. Hard Rock recorded $39.1 million in win revenue last month, a 2.3% increase from last year. An Illinois man faces a murder charge in connection with the death nearly two years ago of a one-year-old baby girl found lifeless in a Hammond roadside pond. 27-year-old Emil Fowler of Pangree Grove, Illinois, is already in Cook County jail facing murder charges in the death of the baby's mother, Janiah Murphy. In sports, Andrean Athletic Director Mike Schultz is taking the same job at Munster starting July 1st, and softball sectionals get going next week with Crown Point and Portage opening up the first round of the Vapo 4A sectional. In 3A at Highland, Griffith and Hanover Central got buys to the second round. To read more on these stories, head to NWI.com. I'm Sonny Santana, and this was your 219 News Now.